demonstration of the alfresco IMAP integration, the goal being to receive an email and then file that email into the Alfresco document repository. I've got a uh, Alfresco share uh, site set up. I called it Megadocs. Uh, I've got one little test file in here. And uh, over here I've got uh, my email client. And uh, I've got one uh, email here that I'm going to try and file into uh, this uh, share site. So uh, this email file has a very small body and then an attachment, which is this is an image file. Uh, scanned copy of a lease. Uh, this is just a little sample uh, mail that I sent myself for the purposes of this demonstration. So, uh, I, in addition to my email, I also have uh, Alfresco uh, configured up here as another IMAP, uh, so my mail client can handle more than one uh, uh, mail uh, server attachment at the same time, so I've got my, uh, my, my personal email in here and, uh, and my work email. Uh, and I've also got Alfresco mounted here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, mail message that I got and uh, I've expanded the Alfresco uh, email tree that I've got and you can sort of see there's a, there's a bunch of different folders in here but one of the folders is for your sites and inside the sites is that Megadocs site that I, that I created for the purpose of the demonstration. And then inside here is the document library and uh, I am going to uh, take this uh, this email that, that I that I've got, and I'm going to uh, just go in and uh, just put this down here with the document library uh, into Megadocs, and uh, I'm going to hold down the Option key, which allows me to uh, to make a copy of the file. So I keep it in my my mailbox, my inbox, as well as uh, copying it over to the document library. But I can do both. So now I've got that uh, copied over, and now uh, if I go over here into the um, into the Alfresco area, uh, you can see that I've now got message 551 is now in my uh, my document library. So uh, I've also got uh, there's an attachment here uh, called lease.ping. So you can see the attachment went into a uh, into a little subfolder here. So there's the attachment that, that, that was in the file. And uh, if I go back up, um, then I've got the actual email itself. If I look at the email, it, it says uh, uh, the file name is message551, which isn't terribly useful, but it does have a title, which is was the subject line of the email. And uh, if I want to actually see the email itself, I can click on the email. And then uh, when I save it, it gets downloaded. And then I can actually. Uh, uh, let's see, I can show that in Finder. So then, uh, you can see I've actually got, got that email here, so I can actually uh, quick look at it, for instance, and then I can see, there it is, I've got my, my from to, the subject line, all that stuff is in there.